Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today's episode number 26. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we are here with the Lotus Sport Exceed Challenge. We're going to be taking the Lotus Exceed B-Class. It's a rear wheel drive beast and under a thousand kilograms. We're going to be going around Mugello, Sukuba Circuit, New York Circuit, and finishing off with Silverstone. Let's go. Let's get cracking. That was fucking cringe. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is uh, attempt number two. This is the first one. Actually, no, attempt number three. First one, the controller disconnected. Second one was actually our first ever run where we actually didn't come first. We came second. Which means we actually genuinely do have to redo the race. So, fucking great. Hey, awesome, Death Ray. But yeah, uh, Death Ray, I greatly appreciate you uh, subscribing. Honestly, pretty awesome. Good to see you back in uh, chat as well. This is awesome. Welcome back. Legend. Oh. Unlike me, who's not a legend, because I fucked that corner up. Hey, at least we got to uh, punch Sir Fallen a little bit. Bum 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 Meow 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 To feel evil Why did I think that lyric was evil? It's equal Ow. Oh, I've gone wide. I wasn't turning enough. Come on. Uh, because it's like a long running joke. <laughs> Pretty much anything to do on my Discord is a long running joke. So. Mm hmm. Ah! Ooh. Get back on the track. Do, 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 do. Like, my Discord is just straight up a meme page. Let's be honest. None of my Discord is normal. <laughs> you what? <watch. laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Cheers, Jacob. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Appreciate the moral support. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now. No, no, you're not taking this. We're going for the toxic defense method. So uh, by the looks of it, I'm probably going to be ending the stream at quarter to 11 now, I think. Just because of the fact us absolutely messing up this race had to add an extra 15 minutes. It's really annoying when I fail a race because it adds time to the stream. Every single time. It's ridiculous. Because I have to get at least like three or four episodes done per stream. I need to get a minimum of two episodes per stream. Um, and sure, I've got three already. But I want to get this game done. So that I'm not always just playing Forza content. On stream. Because I do like a month and a bit on Forza. And then I have like a two, three week break. Before moving on to the next Forza game. That's the plan for this series. Obviously, YouTube will be continuous Forza content. 
Can I get a hole here? Yes, you can, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Ah, drink driving. Love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere. Not bad. Want to be. Someplace I want to be. How much would insurance be on a Kawasaki Ninja H2? Very fucking expensive. You need more than just car insurance. Uh, not even car insurance. You need more than bike insurance. You need fucking life insurance with that bitch. You have a bike that fast? You'd need life insurance. I genuinely think, though, like... Um, anyone who rides a car or a motorbike... Um, should have life insurance. Uh, car maybe not so much because there is the protection there. But because of how dangerous it is to ride a bike, I think definitely as a minimum, motorcyclists should um, have life insurance. If they choose to ride a bike, as a minimum. If they don't have life insurance, they can't ride. I'm not 100% sure if that is a law or not, cause, but that should be how it works. And then for anyone who rides a bicycle, uh, should have to pay third-party insurance as a minimum to cover other vehicles that it damages as a cyclist, and also should have life insurance as well to be able to cycle on the road. Otherwise, you can't cycle on a public place. Or on a road or anything like that. Like on a path, then sure, you can cycle there. But on an actual road, then the police should be able to stop you, search you, and fine you if you're not... If you don't have third-party insurance. I know it sounds harsh, but I don't care. Cyclists are just as prone to incidents, and in fact, they're more prone to incidents, and causing incidents on the road that they should be held account accountable. If they want to be on the road, by all means, be on the road, but act like a car or act like a motor vehicle or act, act like a vehicle on the road following the highway code, not your own special, oh, I got my own golden box. No one can touch me. I'm invincible and I don't have to pay nothing. Fuck off. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I just hate cyclists. Like those stuck up cyclists that go everywhere on the road. Like, a normal cyclist, you're fine. I don't care. If you go on the road, that's fine. But the ones that deliberately go on the road, cause shit, and just act like an absolute moron. Hate those cyclists. Hey, no worries, Death Ray. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around, man. Honestly, greatly appreciate it. Glad to see you, and hopefully we can see you for more of the Falls of stuff. Especially when we get into, like, uh, Motorsport 3 and Motorsport 4. Those are the games that I'm expecting quite a few people to stop by. Uh, you're going to do a driving test soon. Hopefully. But, um, yeah, I'm, I don't have high hopes for it. Uh, I do, but I don't. I really hope I'll get it and pass, but who knows. Right, here we go. Scuba in the Lotus. Yeah, I've got no clue what first car I'm going to get. In all honesty. I want something that's two-seater, preferably. I don't want a big family car that's got loads of space for like four people, because then people will be asking me for lifts, and I'll be like, fuck no. Like, you can have a lift in my passenger seat and that's it. I'm not taking the whole squad out. So that the whole squad can drink and I've got to fucking sober up. You know. Mm. 
Not a bad idea. Get to drive really fast down the road. I feel like I could be a pursuit officer, definitely. Like, I'd obviously have to do the training and shit, but like, I'm pretty capable of driving, so. <laughs> All units, we have mechanic CG speeding down the motorway again. <laughs> Something tells me that's going to be a common phrase <laughs> being said. Guaranteed. Tasty. All units, we have a load of six siege going around Sakuba circuit really, really crappily. Please respond. DM on Discord. Ooh. I will take a look in a bit. I definitely enjoy sitting down playing through these games because I get I one get the experience of um, playing through older titles that I may have missed or playing through the older games that I used to love such as Motorsport 3 Motorsport 4 I actually never played any of the story mode I just pissed about an arcade because I really enjoyed doing that that's all I felt like doing at that time surprisingly I played more of Forza 3 Story mode. And I never understood how story modes work then. I just sort of did it. I am Motorsport 4. I never really bothered with the story mode. Which is weird. <laughs> Agreed. I mean... <laughs> if I was a police officer, I would be like, Dispatch, please let me chase this car. Please let me... Let me chase this car. I need the dopamine. I need the dopamine. Go ahead. <laughs> that would basically be me in a fucking cop car. <laughs> Your overdrive. drive. I need Alex to ring me. And do you want to know the funny thing? Right? Or, well, not funny thing, but my intentions. 
with this entire series, um, obviously Motorsport uh, Horizon 5, at, at the time of recording this now, and probably the time of release as well. No, definitely the time of release of this video. Um, Horizon 5 is the latest game in the Horizon series. Or in Forza in general. So, obviously, that's the latest game we're going to be going for for now. But when the new Motorsport comes out, we'll also be adding that to the Mega Series. So, the Mega Series isn't going to end at Horizon 5. It's going to end at... If, the, if there's two Forza games that come out before we finish this series, by all means, the Mega Series will go on until the end of that. Um... If the next Forza game comes out a day after the Mega Series finishes, then we don't put it in the Mega Series. That's sort of what we're doing. Um, but yeah, the because we'll be doing a Mega Series 2.0 in about five years' time, ten years' time, something like that. I want to do a Mega Series recap later on. <laughs> All units, Mechanic CG doesn't have a license or insurance. Please respond. Insurance companies are scumbags. Honestly. They are scumbags. You can have an old 80-year-old woman driving on the road that's blind as fuck, and her insurance will cost less... Like, for 10 years of her insurance would cost less than one year of insurance for a new driver. Even though the new driver could be perfectly... 2020 vision... Um, reaction times, crazily good. They'll still be charged so much more. Honestly, insurance companies are scumbags. And the government are scumbags for forcing us to have to pay, um, extreme prices on this insurance. Because they don't do anything about it. They don't put an insurance cap based off of the value of the car or anything like that. It's ridiculous. Like, for a car that's worth two grand... Or a grand or whatever. You shouldn't be having insurance that costs two grand. Three grand a year. Not at all. One year's of insurance for a car should not be more than the value of the car itself. Because that's just... Ridiculous. Okay, not bad. I will take that. Thank you very much. Let's go on to race number three. All right, here we go. Temp number 17, I think. What's the time? It's probably half past. It is half past. I've still got two races to go. Kill me, please. Nom, nom. Nom, nom. Nom, nom. So, uh, it turns out the AI in this game do have some toxic traits. Such as, if they're on a driving line, and you're on the inside of them, they're going to follow the driving line and push you away. They don't deliberately crash into you, though, like the other game, which, I mean, is a bonus. But, the fact that they don't deviate off the driving line, even if you are next to them, and you basically have the inside of the corner... They won't deviate off that driving line. And bearing in mind the driving line on this track is very close to the wall. Fucks you up. Pretty much. Was that a Shell logo? I haven't really seen Shell advertised in like stuff for ages. They used to be like a big sponsor of Ferrari back in the day, weren't they? Oh my god. I feel alive. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. Italia. Italy. 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 Italy.
Oh, I love that glitchy sound, but I'm going to skip this song. Because I think the final song on this playlist is fucking killer. Forza Motorsport 2. Forza Motorsport 2. FedEx. Kinky. Kinkos. Kinky FedEx. Is that like FedEx where you can request like... Uh, stripper delivery drivers? That's <laughs> a really shit joke. <laughs> uh... We fall into parallel. You are electric. I'm under your spell. I will forget these. I basically. So, this beard that I've got going on. I'm planning on growing it out for the next two months till. Uh, probably. Oh, well, actually, maybe a month. Till start of August, and then I am getting rid of it in August. Because I've seen how well it grows out, and it grows out pretty well now. So, I'm going to shave it off. Do it once more. Because especially as I'm going away on... in Is it September going away? I basically got to record a shit ton of videos, by the way. I need at least three weeks worth of videos ready to go. Which is why when I finish Motorsport 2, even if there's like 10 videos left of Motorsport 2, I'm starting recording Motorsport 3. Because I want that stuff ready to go. Because I'm going to be taking a long break off. And then when I come back, I still need some videos so that when I start editing, I've still got like two or three days of buffer. So I need three weeks worth. Which is crazy. But yeah, when I go away, I'm uh, shaving it all off. Go clean shaven. To parallel. Eat it fall into parallel. Eat it fall into parallel. We eat for all in two parallel. We eat for all in two parallel. Back trick. My Monday your spell. Nissan. Get a new car today. Fall into parallel. And we fall into, and we fall, and we fall into. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, oh, my assets. This chair's uncomfy. I can't wait to finish the stream and then just lay down on my chair. In fact, I might do it after this race. Lay down on my chair for a bit for the last race. Parallel. You parallel. You are electric. To parallel. I love a good bit of drum and bass. Drum and bass is like... It's that one genre that just... Goes with anything. It's the best of British. 
I just wish it was more mainstream, like pop songs that had drum and bass. I wish that, but I don't wish that at the same time. Because there are some artists that would ruin it. But there are some, like, mainstream artists that sing over drum and bass songs nowadays. And they actually go really well. They're still not mainstream, though. Like, the songs themselves aren't mainstream. On, like, the radio and shit. Which is a shame, because I think the radio would benefit from having drum and bass on it. Like, more often. Not just at, like, 9pm for the drum and bass show on Radio 1. Meow. And we're following to... We fall into parallel. Not bad. Cross the finish line. And that is... Second to last race done. Time to go on the last one. Alright, lying down mech here. We're now doing Silverstone. I'm so much more comfy now. Now that all my weight's being part of my legs instead of... Me arse. <laughs> Good start so far. Boo, 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 boo. Get out of the way. This race is going to take a while. Getting faster. Not bad. Could have probably gone a little wide out there and done the switchback pass instead. Now that's how you carry the momentum. Come on, ah. Oh. I'm crying at this one. These cars are just a little more stable on Silverstone than I am.
Okay, got the pass. But now we've got an extremely large gap between us and the car in front. But we got the faster line. We got the faster line. Oh, that's it. Once we separated those two cars, actually, they uh, weren't as powerful. That's quite a realistic thing, though. If you've got two cars together, they're either going to really hinder each other's performance if they're fighting. But if they seem to be working together, typically, um, they'll end up being an unstoppable force. And they can go on for miles. I mean, you think... NASCAR can do it pretty well. You look at um, that Formula 1 battle in the Canadian Grand Prix of 2022. Right at the end, those two cars, although they were battling, because they were both at max performance, they were almost pushing each other along. It's something to do with the wind. When cars get close enough together, it actually does an opposite effect of draft. Like, drafting. Not bad. We got this. Okay, that um, Lotus behind. There's enough distance that I don't have to worry too much at the moment. I'm definitely getting sweaty hands from this though. Like, I mean, that last lap I just managed to squeeze an extra second and a bit out of. I'm going to try and squeeze in more time out of this lap. Yeah, something tells me that didn't work. We got away with it. So we were very lucky. There's a Spotify talk about Boris. There's a lot of Spotify podcasts about the government. If I'm going to be totally honest. This song's amazing. It's Feel Alive by Graphics. There we go. That's today done. Thank goodness for that. Technically speaking, we did actually speed up the lap time, though, so... That was faster, whatever we did. Even though the other cars caught up. Very strange. I'll take my rewards and we're getting the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. 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 
We've got 2006 Exige Cup. We've got 30 grand. I have my Exige. Isn't that already what we have? Do they give us the same car for what we... Nah, I'm done. The series is over. Nah, I'm done. Tune in next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.